Guys, we are back, and I don't know um, what is happening, but it's all about the 16-bit in 2019. It just feels like <laughs> I, I'm looking at the screen right here. I'm looking at the screens all around me. 16-bit gaming is alive and well in uh, 2019, uh, and it's thanks to uh, these retro mini consoles, like the one that's hitting uh, store shelves, I think, on Friday. This is the, uh, the Sega Genesis Mini. And what Sega did, and I think this is starting to hit all over social media and YouTube and stuff like that, is um, they sent us the uh, review unit early so that we could talk about it. And as you've been, if you've been following stuff on the channel, and hello to all of our brand new subscribers, by the way, um, we've been reviewing the console and all the games and com doing comparisons. Uh, but then in the mail the other day, I got this tower, this whole system here, and uh, it's crazy. It's all cosmetic. It's like a little... Um, like a power-up for your Sega Genesis. It doesn't really do anything. Uh, the cartridge slot I don't think works on the on the Genesis Mini, uh, but it has the 32X, which was the um, the 32-bit upgrade thing, so it's like a little model of the 32X. I don't know if I'm holding that to the right camera. It's okay. Uh, okay, so that slides in there, and then on it's, the Genesis itself clips into a scale model of the Sega CD. They've got a scale model of the Sonic the Hedgehog cartridge, and that fits into a scale model of the Sonic and Knuckles cartridge. And it all sits in what they call the Sega Genesis Tower. Uh, Blake just rolled his eyes, because he's way too young for this stuff. When I got this in the mail, I nearly started crying, <laughs> and uh, uh, my kid was like, what's wrong, Dad? What's going on? But it's, uh, this thing is crazy, man. This All of this stuff together in this little mini form factor. Sega does what Nintendo don't, is what I'm telling you right here, right? Nintendo didn't do any of that stuff. Um, now, the reason why I've got this playing again is, um, uh, and uh, oh, and I have to tell you guys, we can't get a, through the setup that we have, which we have multiple cameras live here on location at the VFS Cafe, so we're streaming live and, and punching to different cameras all the time, but through our splitter, we can't get audio and video, and through the machinery that we have, the equipment that we have, to play cleanly off of the Sega Genesis Mini. All the other game systems we've been able to plug in in a live setting have had no problem and I think it's because this outputs, outputs at 720p at 60 frames per second. Everything else that we have is 1080 or above. Um, and so it does, uh, our Roland splitter doesn't like this signal for whatever reason. So you can't hear the audio coming out of the machine directly. It's coming out of speakers that are playing here. So there's probably a little bit of a delay. I've seen a lot of comments on uh, some of the videos that we've been running. And a lot of them have been talking about the, uh, uh, like there's a dual uh, input thing happening with the controller. Corey is back. He was on uh, on the show playing Gears 5 uh, on Friday. Hello, Corey. Sorry. Doing, Victor? So rude. You're just sitting here playing games beside me. I didn't I'll know. survive, yeah, I guess. That's all right. Uh, <laughs> you were playing the game. This is the first time you're touching the Sega Genesis Mini. Have you yeah. noticed any dual input lag? We're live. No, Have you noticed anything where you're, t you're tapping or pressing a button and you're getting two hits of anything? None at all. It's very okay. responsive. I didn't either. I would have mentioned it if I did have it in my reviews. Blake recorded a bunch of footage. He didn't notice it at all either. Um, now, we're, we're not Digital Foundry, and I'm, I'm well aware of their work. They're phenomenal. They're the guys that will go zoom in and look at the pixels on each different game and say, well, this... The, this game is not running optimally, it's better off of the cartridge, look at the, the uh, super zoomed in pixels on this version of the game. We, we don't do that. We, we play the games and then we keep moving on and we're always testing the stuff. I didn't notice any of that stuff. I wish the, I had some of that, and I can make an excuse when I mess up. Yeah, <laughs> there, and yeah, totally. <laughs> didn't notice any of that. Um, didn't really notice audio lag. I did some comparisons with the, uh, the Earthworm Jim cartridge uh, and a couple of other cartridges on the analog uh, uh, Mega SG, I'm getting a little nerdy here for people that don't really care about this stuff, but I played regular cartridges on as close to Sega hardware as possible, and I played it on the emulated stuff that's on um, the Sega Classics collection on the Nintendo Switch, and I know that there's lag in the Switch emulations. It doesn't drive me crazy because it's fun to be able to play those games anywhere. What I'm saying is I'm a huge fan of the Mega SG. They've done a really, really good job. 42 games. Now, we still have new content that's coming. 
Oh, sorry. The I'm a huge fan of the, thank you, the Sega Genesis Mini. I'm trying to remember all these words. Now, we still have uh, a couple more videos uh, to talk about this thing because Sega sent it to us with enough time to kind of prepare a whole bunch of thoughts on it. So uh, we're going to have, we had the top 10 games that are on the Sega Genesis Mini. We're going to have the top or the the 10 worst games that are on the Sega Genesis Mini. And then I'll probably put together a video on the games that I would sub in, games that I would have loved to have seen on this machine. But so far, huge fan, um, and uh, I think that it's gonna be a big hit. I don't know how it's doing in the pre-orders and all that stuff. I've seen some other reviews, people seem to be digging it. You're digging Sonic 2? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. This is and, a great game. This brings me right back. Yeah, it's classic. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I'm glad to hear you say that, young man. That's awesome. I, I don't feel quite as old <laughs> if people enjoy some of these classic games like I do. I don't know what's... It's a crazy thing for me because it's these games that got me like, video games are awesome. I should make a TV show about them. And now they're back. And it's like, it's like we rolled the machine and I'm just starting over again. It's crazy. Um, but, uh, it, it, you know, what's funny is NHL was a huge, huge game on this machine back in the day. NHL is alive and well, and I've got a review of NHL 20. <laughs> 